Yo guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're gonna be reviewing the um Planet Planet Namek Super Saiyan Goku. So I've been wanting this figure for like a very long time now, and they made a bootleg of it, so went ahead and picked it up. And if you're Australian like me, I know I said this like a million times, but it's like very expensive and it's going for around a hundred bucks so i'm not paying that much for a figure so decided to go with the cheapest route and went with the bootleg let me just cut it so i'll just cut this camera and i'll get it open so here it is guys and though this is a bootleg I am very excited, and I just really want to just open this out of the package right now, so let's just get to it. Okay, so here is out of the box. Oh my god. This just looks as good as the original, not gonna lie. But, does it have the same articulation? Let's find out. So, let's get this off this tape. Oh my, yo, yo, this, this looks so good, oh my, yo, oh my goodness. Okay, I've got it here, and it, oh my goodness, <laughs> it, it's, it's to be expected, it's a bootleg, but it doesn't matter, can always just plug it back in, and the arm comes off, <laughs> okay, Ooh. that's loose. Wow, this, this is just amazing. As you can see from my reaction, this is actually pretty good. Oh my god. Yo. This is crazy. This is actually amazing here. I've got some loose joints, but doesn't matter this is crazy okay so here's all of his accessories and he's got tons of accessories like i mean tons so like let's get started on the first row of hands i don't know if these match or not but i couldn't find the other row of this hand and neither this hand so, I guess these are sort of like, this is like a combat hand, and grabbing hand, so, yeah. Next, we have the, sort of like the Kamehameha hands, but like without the peg, and they look really good. Then we got the actual Kamehameha hands with the peg. Also looking really good. And then we've got the wide open hands. Then lastly, we've got... Most people call this... Uh, call this karate hands. Yeah, they look really good. Then we've got a face plate. Look at that detail. For a bootleg, this is great. The eyebrows aren't really that good, but it's it's good. I like it. 
it got the yelling face. You can recreate this moment from Planet Namek where Krillin gets Planet. Oh no, no, no! You can't do that because that's where he's not Super Saiyan. You can just make him screaming at Frieza. Yeah. Then we got the angry face. We got like another face play on there, which I'll show you in a sec. Let me just get him off the boy tag. That's his face plate right there. He comes with a sort of like pointing up here for like when he's powering up. And a raised up here for when he's actually becoming Super Saiyan. So like he's he's um yeah you know what I'm saying. Then we've got the Kamehameha all. And then we've got the effect pieces. Here's the rest of them. Dang it. So yeah, you get the point. The figures are looking really great. I like it. But now let's Let's look at the paint in detail. So first, we've got like these beautiful white blue eyes and a beautiful painted smirk on his face. They even catch the markings on his eyebrows, which is great. I think that's very good for a bootleg. And we, we've got like this great application on the hair where it's like sort of sudden like light yellow and then going into a sort of orange well no like a normal yellow here yeah. the thing about the chest piece it doesn't bother me as much as other people would complain about he's his pants have the same application as his hair. It's sort of like a um, light orange, and then it just fades into a perfectly per a normal orange. Now for pretty much everyone's, the ball joints on the shoes are orange. I don't know why they did this, but I don't mind it. And, like, these shoes are painted very well. I like how they can sudden, how it's suddenly all that. And also, the, oh, wait, no, nah. everything is okay. I feel like this is a good figure overall, but now let's check its articulation. Okay, so it can look up a decent amount and can look down so much. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn. The faceplate. It does that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so as you can tell, it drops down a decent amount for looking down. Oh, well. This is how much I can go down without getting the faceplate off. It can look sideways. Now let's move on to the arms. Oh, damn it. You can go up this much. You've got your wrist, uh, shoulder swivel. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Sorry if I get it wrong. It's kind of squeaky. Then we've got the joint. Then the regular ball hinge on the wrists. No articulation for the torso, barely. And with other people, I think the real one has an articulated belt right here. I don't think mine does.
the legs can go up that much without me trying to get them off. This is how much my leg can go up. Decent amount. You get your knee articulation. Foot articulation and then toe articulation. Wow. This is actually really great. This is my first... This is my second Goku figure. And it's already starting off great. It's better than the Dragon Stars. <laughs> okay. That's mostly all for my review. I hope you liked it. And goodbye.